bomb now. And Giants battling to get that one out. And they should do now. And they do. A chance here for the Giants. Break away. Lovely dangle. What a play. What a goal for the Stena line. Belfast Giants. And it's a star performer, Scott Conway, on the penalty kill with one minute and 18 seconds gone. It's the Stena line Belfast Giants won. The Glasgow clan nil. Yeah, welcome to the leagues, to the uh, Glasgow clan. That was an unbelievable bit of play by Scott Conway. Undressed the defender, goes in, makes the goaltender and sticks it out in by his right pad. Unbelievable. Ben Lake now, across to Griffin Reinhardt, just throws a puck in on goal. Good bounce play, great save from Shane Starrett. What an opportunity that was for Ben Lake, Dicko. Yeah, unbelievable. I, the, uh, I think it was Griff who threw the puck in and he sort of either gets deflected or gets through and then the rebound comes out and it's a fantastic save here. So he'll go D to D. Griff, see a nice shot. I think it tips. Yeah, it looks like a bit of a yeah, tip there. Falls out to the middle. That's a great oh, what save. What a save, yeah, fantastic. Unbelievable. Clan cleared and a breakaway chance here for Matthew Watt. And he scores! for the Glasgow clan with 6.35 to go in this second period. It is the Stenaline Belfast Giants one, the Glasgow clan one. If there's one guy you don't want the puck to fall to on a breakaway, it's Wah. It's just right over the pad. It doesn't look like a hard shot. It, you know, he doesn't have to pull any moves. It's just a smart veteran shot. I'm not actually sure that it looks like that it hit a shin pad and come out of the zone. So unlucky, but at the same time, you know, the Belfast Giants should have been smarter with the puck there. Trying to find a shoot leg. Good shot there. Off the post from Darcy Murphy. That was a well worked attempt. A shot good again. Block. Good defensive play. Darcy Drop. Murphy unlucky there. Pretty sure it hit post and then net minder and stayed out. It's a great block there from uh, Dylan Stevenson. Or Dyson Stevenson, should I say. Nice and cool. Good block. From the Belfast Giants, Kieran Long now just dumps that in. Doggett goes in chase of it. Good defensive play again from the clan. Kept in by Mark Garside. Left back here now, Captain David Goodwin. Looking for the backhand. Chance again and a good save from Starrett. Good opportunity there for the Belfast Giants. Puck goes in and goal. Starrett again. Tracks that puck incredibly well. Cooper now, far side across, shot again comes in, the clan collapsing incredibly well. Shot again comes in, a bit of a rebound there from Starrett this time. The clan need to get a whistle. Giants need to keep it in the zone, as they do. Shot again coming in, Starrett tracks again incredibly well. Puck round the back of the goal. Bomb, lays it off, puck goes. Shot comes in just wide of Starrett's goal. Pekinic. Half wall shot and it's a goal for the Stenaline Belfast Giants. And with 8.43 to go in this third and final period, it's Jordan Boucher with a go ahead goal. Yeah, Boucher on the doorstep there. The puck gets worked around well. The, the initial shot is saved. I think it just falls straight to him. It couldn't have fell any better to him on the doorstep there. He's going to make no mistake. And we've talked about it, you know, it's been coming for the Giants, they've been getting into those high danger areas. That's and a it's a goal for the Brayhead clan, or sorry, the Glasgow clan. It's a fantastic goal as well. Fantastic finish. Kind Rock. of out of nothing, it's sort of a little play behind the neck, it's bounced out, and we're going to see this one. Watch the water bottle, it goes in the air. Is it Wah who scores it? Or is he assists it? No, he assists it. And that is That's just... a fantastic finish there. I think it's from number 26, Dyson Stevenson. As we said, it's uh, hard to tell from our vantage point here, but what a finish that was in Tyler Besko And uh, uh, Let me tell you something, after taking you know all that pressure and then finally jumping into the lead to get sucker punched the guy, it really takes the wind out of your seal a little bit. And, you know, great answer back from, from the Glasgow. Conway now. Back hands it into the clan zone. Starrett comes out and plays it. Kieran Long battling down there with uh, Scott Conway. Picking it now. Sorry, it was Lewis Hook. 
D to D, Mark Garside. Bomb, bomb through to the end, and it's a tip from Lewis Hook. And with 2.53 to go in the third and final period, it's a Stenaline Belfast Giants 3, the Glasgow Clan 2. Fantastic job. If it comes in, D to D pass. Pretty sure it's a bomber there in front, Lewis Hook. He's been working on that all week, tips it in front. No chance for the clan netminder. You can see what it means to Hooky down there celebrating. And now there's only three minutes left in the game, so the clan really going to have to up the tempo here and go after it. Fantastic job from Lewis Hook. Lewis Hook's fourth goal of the season, seventh point in total. And that will be that, folks, here at the SSE Arena in Belfast. Final score, Stenaline Belfast Giants three, Glasgow Clan two, goals from Scott Conway, Boucher and Lewis Hook. Take the two points for the Belfast Giants and Dicko, that was a really important bounce back game for the Giants. It was, we talked about it before we came on air about how, you know, last night was not what the Belfast Giants teams are traditionally here. Very rarely would we go in anywhere and struggle so much. So very important, Adam Keith be happy to get back behind the bench and see his team doing the job for him.